All right. All right, let's do new, fast new. We'll do it. Okay, you guys love RGB LED matrices on a Raspberry Pi and you want lots of them? Well, we have a new bonnet by request. This is called a like Active 3 triple output bonnet. That's because the Python library a lot of people use. It calls it the Active 3 pinout. Basically, you can control three matrices in parallel, so you get three times the throughput. Great for really big screens. Um, works on all Raspberry Pis with 2 by 20 headers. Uh, one thing, can you go back more fast? Just one. Yeah, so the only thing to note is that you can you see there's like three separate cables, and you can chain them, so you can add even more panels on the end of those panels. But the power is separated. So the other hats and bonnets we have, you power them through the, the bonnet because it's only meant for like a small number of panels. For this, you're going to have to have a separate power system. Um, but what's cool is we have Pi 5 support for this and there's Pi 4 uh, Pi, uh, support for this. So if you want to make like really cool big displays with ultra high color uh, and you don't want a separate HDMI driver, um, you can do it from a Raspberry Pi using this active bonnet. Great for big displays. Next up. <laughs> this is a simple moisture sensor, simple soil sensor, as shown here. Um, so we uh, put designed this, put this in the shop. It's a simple resistive sensor with gold pads. Um, it's meant for students. I want to make something very, very low cost, but still pretty durable that can be easily used by folks with an Arduino or a micro bit. And now it's in the shop. Um, we also have capacitive um, soil moisture sensors, but they're going to be a little bit more expensive. This is when like budget is really important and you don't mind that it's a resistive style sensor. Okay. And then I think I put this in the star. Yeah. Show. And the star show besides oh, no, you. No, that's the star. This is the pre. Right before the show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. This is not almost a star. Almost a star. Pre-star. Um, this is the LM730 100 Ideal Diode. Um, I'm putting this in the shop for my project with solar panels, but I also thought it would be really useful for other folks. So if you want um, a power system, if you have like batteries or solar panels where um, you want the most, uh, sorry, the least power loss to heat or just like voltage drop. If you were gonna use a, even a Schottky diode, once you get to five amps, three amps, you're gonna see an, uh, a volt, a volt and a half of forward drop. You know, when you're dealing with a six volt panel or even a nine volt panel, that's a lot of voltage slash power lost to a diode. Why do that when you can have ideal diodes? So these um, have two back-to-back -back transistors and they're controlled by a little chip. They're a little more expensive, but you're gonna get like millivolts of forward drop instead of volts of forward drop. So again, I'm using this for solar panels, but also could be used for other um, like low, uh, low power, high, um, sorry, what, when efficiency is very, very important to you, um, not something that plugs into the wall, but something that's like run off of batteries or um, like solar or like thermoelectric or whatever. Um, so this is a good part to use um, for that case and yeah. works up to 23 volts and up to five amps. So also it has built-in current monitoring, which is kind of cool. Okay, and the start of the show besides you, Lady Ada, and our team, our company, um, Zine, and, uh, you know. Oh, is the... A uh, soil moisture kit with a micro bit designed for folks who want to use this with curriculum like Microsoft Farm Beats, which is like an online tutorial curriculum that you can use with a classroom, or you can do it on yourself. Comes yeah. with a micro bit V2, um, batteries for portable use, uh, some stainless steel nails, that soil moisture sensor, a nice long USB cable so you don't have to have your plant right next to your computer, and uh, three alligator clips that you can use to connect from the soil sensor. So the micro bit uh, in the guide, sorry, in the product page, we link to the tutorial, um, but it's a really good deal for, you know, 30 bucks worth of stuff, sell it to you for a lot less than that. Um, great for students, uh, both self-taught or in a classroom. New products. New, 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 new.